everyone and welcome back to Cute Claws with Kelly. Today I have a Thanksgiving Manny for you and I also wanted to show you all of the goodies that came in the Sparkle & Co. I Want It All November sub bag. So first of all the special gifts are the stocking and these cozy socks and then um, it's got all these goodies so it's got you know gel polish, powders, it has some reg regular nail polish stuff and some flakies and I'm just gonna hush for a minute and let you guys watch as I unpack all of the wonderful stuff and then I will come back when we're ready to get into the Manny. So there you have it. Oh man, I love these sub bags. I just think that the colors that they come with, especially this time, were dynamite. It fits right into what I was wanting to do for my Thanksgiving Manny. The dip powders I'm using from the November sub bag are the last two. So that gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. Um, it had like gold and pink glitter pieces as well as the light pink those are the two that i'm using with this manny and that red that you saw that's a red that i mixed up myself with two colors that i already had they're not sparkling co i think one is a red from rossi and the other one was like a purple color from new revolution um the first time i mixed that color up was for my daughter's birthday manny which i did upload that video here on my channel so you can go take a look at that if you're interested but i'm um, getting right into it here um i am just kind of doing an infill on my nails so um i you know shaved them down a little bit and and reshaped them and filed them like pretty pretty thin and then now I'm just gonna do one quick dip of the natural over the whole nail, um, and then I'm gonna get into the colors. So I didn't wanna bore you too much with watching me dip into this natural color, so I'm just showing you this one finger and then we'll move into the colors. Um, you'll notice a little bit 
but around my cuticles on some of my fingers, it's looking a little bit red. I think I went a little bit too harshly on um, clipping some of the extra skin around my nails. So I don't normally clip the, the cuticle, the dead cuticle, um, because of this, where I don't wanna like irritate the cuticle, but um, I just, I had a lot of cuticles this time when I went to push them back and um, I thought, oh, you know, let me go ahead and nip some of that away. I didn't, I did not cut my live tissue when I was using the cuticle nipper, but I just, I caused myself some um, irritation there and then after, you'll see later after I go through and do my filing with my hand file and my e-file it irritated it further so lesson learned on my part <laughs> I should stick with what I normally do and that is not to use the nippers so I don't know what I was thinking but I just wanted to let you know why um, some of my some of my fingers are looking kind of red um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my normal dip process here where I'm doing two dips of color and then I'm capping in clear. I'm using my Virgo and Gem dip liquids, which I always love because um, they're nice and thin and it just gives me nice, thin, even layers because I feel like it also uh, levels itself out pretty well um, as well. So um, I'm gonna start with this like really light pink color on my thumb and my pinky. Um, you guys know that I tend to work my colors lightest, lightest, excuse me, to darkest, and then I save the glitter for the end. So that is what I'm gonna be doing here. And then also something I'm trying new with this look today is color blocking in like a chevron pattern on my ring finger. So. I've never tried that before. Um, it went okay. Um, you'll see kind of what my process was when I get on, onto that nail later. Um, but I really like the way that it came out. I did not use any tape. That is something that you can do. You can tape off your sections. Um, but I just went for it. Um, just kind of dipping my finger in the different colors, um, working my way up to the cuticle. So. Um, and then I, I'm gonna put some stamps on some of my nails at the end, which I feel will complement the gold and, and it's just gonna speak Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna you know, step out for a little bit, let you all like just watch the process and then I'll pop back in a little bit later.
right guys, so here comes the gorgeous, gorgeous glitter from the sub bag that I got and I just had to go in slow motion here just to show you this dip in all of its glory. I am so in love with this. It came out so good. It laid so perfectly. I just, I can't get enough. So that is um, the, the best color I think that came in this sub bag for sure. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to speak to that real quick. So I'll be back later.
Okay guys, so now I'm getting into the color blocking. So I'm, I'm just gonna dip um, right into the glitter jar because it's so full. The other jar, I'm gonna pour it out into my French dip tray that I got from Rossi. And uh, that'll just help me to get kind of that um, chevron um, that I'm looking for. And one trick is I put a couple of dots on my nail with a marker just so that I could make sure that I know where center is so that when I'm dipping on either side to get that chevron, I know where the point should be um, so that it's center. Another trick is um, I am going to put a layer of base on the nail and let it dry fully. And the reason for that is that with the color blocking, you you want to move quickly so that your base doesn't dry on you and if you do a layer of base first and let that dry the second layer that you go to put on top will dry much much slower and give you more time to work so i've seen this trick done by many a youtuber and gave this was the first time i was giving it a try myself so um, i did let that dry fully and then I'm going to do a second layer and then I'm gonna go right in and dip. So I'm gonna go into the red first as that is the color closest or on, I should say, the free edge. And then I'm gonna go into my glitter. And then finally, I'm gonna pour over the pink on the portion of my nail that's closest to my cuticle. So um, this, like I said, this was the first time I did this. It came out really well. I did have to push some of the glitter pieces around a little bit just to kind of make like a sharper edge. Um, but for me, it worked out great. Again, you can do the tape method if you like, if, if you prefer that. Um, you know, there's not as much room for error if you use tape because you're taping off the portion of your nail that you don't want to get whatever color you're working with on. So without the tape, you definitely have to be a little bit more careful. And then when you go in for your second dip, you have to line it up just right. So just a few things to keep in mind. But um, again, this came out perfect for me and you know, practice makes perfect. So I think the next time I do this, it'll be even better. Um, I was debating dipping my nail into that pink powder there for a second. And then I remembered, whoa, 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 we've got glitter on here and I don't wanna contaminate my jar. My, my jar of non-glitter powder with some glitter pieces. So um, I stopped myself just shy of almost dipping my nail in there. Um, so yeah, that, that, that is the method for the color block. Um, I'll let you watch here as I do the second round and then I will come back in a little bit later on.
right, so I did all of my filing and buffing off camera. Here's where you can see that I really did a number on my thumb when I was filing. I just got a little bit too um, overzealous with that clipping, like I said, and um, ended up breaking the skin a little bit there when I was doing my e-file up against the cuticle on my poor thumb. But you know what? I'm at least I did it to myself. <laughs> And so there's no one to blame except for me. It's not like I went somewhere and like paid money and had somebody hurt me, which used to be the problem when I would go to the salon. So um, you could see that I did get my right hand all finished up with the stamping and everything. Um, and so now moving on to um, finishing up my left hand. So this glitter, oh my God, again, it is everything. I just love how it comes to life when you put the, um, the products on it. So after the filing and buffing, um, I did a little bit of an alcohol wipe just around the nails that are on the nails and around the cuticle to clean up all the dust. And then you saw me go in with the um, me a secret product which is uh, the extra bond to help the gel polish adhere um, and even that made this glitter just pop and then it's even better once I put my gel top coat on um, I think I do a close-up of that nail once I get the um, the gel polish on it just so that you can see it sparkle but yeah it's everything I love it it has my heart um, I can definitely see myself doing a lot of holiday manis using that glitter um, and then just in general this color combo with the pink and the red and the glitter just I think it came together so well yeah oh my gosh look at that it's so beautiful I think I have a better picture where I'm not moving around so much a little bit later later here you can see the color block up close um, and like I said it came out very decently for my first try so definitely happy about that um, the stamping that I'm going to be doing here in a little bit is uh, some plates that I got from Amazon. They are Thanksgiving themed, so you can see I have a Give Thanks stamp on my thumb. I've got some maple leaves on my pointer over that red nail. And then finally I've got some little pumpkins on my pinky nail. Um, I'm using all like a gold color of stamping polish that kind of complements the gold glitter really well and the stamping is not anything that you haven't seen me do before it's just normal stamping I didn't do any like reverse stamping this time because I wanted to keep it simple um, so you'll see me get into that here in a minute I will pop back in if I have anything else that I need to tell you
So with the stamping, I really wanted to try to make this Hello Gorgeous regular nail polish work um, from the uh, Sparkle & Co sub bag for November because I loved it so much and it was definitely like that rose gold color. I just could not get it to work. I've seen on other um, YouTube tutorials that ladies have said that you can use normal polish normal nail polish not gel polish just normal polish as stamping polish but for me I could not get it to pick up um, I don't know I, I don't expect that it was because it dried too quickly because the stamping polish is meant to dry quickly and it picks up no problem I don't know if maybe it's because it was so like shimmery like it had those little tiny glitter pieces in it or maybe that's why it wouldn't pick up on my stamper Again, just couldn't get it to work. I was kind of bummed about that because this gold that I ended up going with from the Born Pretty Stamping Polish line is a little bit more yellowy than I wanted, um, but it still worked out well and I'm still really happy about it. So um, no worries there, but yeah, I, I'll have to definitely play around uh, with that regular nail polish in another capacity because it is so beautiful. Um, I don't usually do regular nail polish. I know that there can be some issues when you try to do regular nail polish and then you, you know, put like a gel top on. If you don't do it quite right, I know there's some tips and tricks about it. I've, I myself have tried it and I've had issues where after the gel top coat cures, it looks wrinkly underneath there. Um, I know there are some ways and some things you can do to combat that though. I'll definitely have to see about that and then also I know that you can use like a regular nail polish and then cap it in clear dip powder um, so that might be something that I'll give a try with that normal nail polish because again it's so beautiful I just I can't wait to see what it looks like on so um, just getting the stamping finished up here um, and then we'll be done with the the stamping and with the mani um, also, you saw me go in with my liquid latex around the two fingers that I'm doing like a pretty um, decent sized stamp on where I'm covering the full nail. It just makes cleanup a little bit easier. I would recommend that you lay your liquid latex on pretty thick. If you do it too thinly, you can have a hard time peeling it off. And then even with the liquid latex, I did have to do a little bit of cleanup work with just, um, you know, uh, a brush and some acetone um, to clean up it around my cuticles a little further but it definitely helps uh, the liquid latex helps keep you know your skin around your nails clean so um, that was the deal with that so I will let you watch till we get to the end and then I will come back in for some final words
All right, so alas, we have come to the end. I just went and washed my hands really quick to get all of that dust and sparkles and everything off. Um, this is the finished look. I am so happy with the way it came out. Um, that sparkle and post sub bag really did come at the perfect time. Um, not that it changed what I was gonna do too much. I just, I was able to use what I got in my sub bag. Uh, going in with some candy skincare cuticle oil um, as I always do this was one of the, the uh, scents from the fall line that she had um, I think it's like pumpkin marshmallow something something I, <laughs> I don't remember what it was called but um, love the way that that smells um, and then yeah just had to do a little bit of some you know uh, nail fees here with the with the cool stocking that came in the sub bag I've got that hanging up in my office but thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one bye bye